It's time for our Seen and Unseen segment. We examine the cultural stories of the day, and for that, we turn to Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo, who joins me here in D.C. Here he is. Raymond, it's good to see you in studio. Great to now, see you. it was uh, Grammy night. You know, I tried to ignore it. Tell well, me what I need uh, to know. Laura, it was a rebound from previous years, from the all time low rating of the Grammys. Still, they were down 5 million from 2020. Wow. They tried to trot the stars out on the red carpet. The big winner of the night, of course, Harry Styles, looked like Freddie Mercury at a circus. Hmm. Uh, then, if you've ever wondered what 1 800 Flowers does with their returns, Lizzo showed us. She looked like FTD's discard pile, if you look closely. It's Wait, who is that? I can't remember. Well, I thought it was a tribute to Grimace. Oh. A little, a little bit. Like, oh, that's red. A little. Purple. Well, the color was off. And what yeah. was that poor, um, and who I always adored, Shania Twain. What was she oh, wearing? Oh, she's beautiful. But she's I think gorgeous. She was, I think she was wearing part of the Cowella DeVille line. You know, I, maybe Chick-fil-A is <laughs> sponsoring her tour. I don't quite know what that ensemble is. But, uh, but look, I like when the stars get topical, Laura. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Sam Smith came as the red China spy balloon surrounded by COVID variants. I thought this was very creative on oh, the red it was. carpet. They had yeah. their own little spike proteins yeah. there. Yeah, well, you know, excellent. the truth is the Grammy presenters throughout the evening were as scary as the performances themselves. The face formerly known as Madonna's <laughs> made an appearance. If they call you shocking, scandalous, troublesome, problematic, Provocative or dangerous. You are definitely on to something. That's where you make noise. You are, yeah, thank you. And that's when you take Prevagen. All Clap, right. please. <laughs> Clap, With please. the Jeb Bush approach. Well, Madge introed Sam Smith, who performed. Such a cliche song. Oh God! Unholy. Yeah, you know, you know and what followed so the number? What followed the number, Laura, was almost as grotesque as the thing itself. Watch this. Mm. Grammy Awards is sponsored by Pfizer. <laughs> You can't make that up. We did not edit that. It literally said right after that performance, sponsored by Pfizer, from the people that brought you myocarditis, <laughs> the devil, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, who and, came up with that idea? But poor this guy, you know, it's the mark of a desperate entertainer when they have to go back to the well of Satanism to get attention. I mean, he's like a plus sized Marilyn Manson at this point. You know, you gotta well, give it a I rest. I have to tell him something. Ozzy Osbourne did it better. Well, okay? Just... If, you're, if this is your thing, like Ozzy Rock well, did back in the 70s. When okay? the culture is this depraved, yeah, this, this is stuff it. loses its yeah. ability to shock. Uh, Jill Biden, Laura, made a surprise appearance at the Grammys what as a, a presenter. Segue. At first, I thought she might be announcing best audio performance mm. of a classified document, but she did have that big crossover Latin hit. You remember that a few years ago. Oh, yeah. So say it with me. See, si, say Broadway. The future is ours. So say it with me. See, si, say Broadway. The future is ours. See, si, say Broadway. Well, that was a great song. That was a great one. The clubs are uh, all playing it. El, doc El Doctor Jill. <laughs> yeah. She got a kind of a limp reception. Yeah, there. she did. <laughs> Thank you. It's the first winner of the Recording Academy's best song for social change to Sherbeen Ajapur. <laughs> For his stirring song, Baroye. <laughs> she's well, she slaughtered Spanish. Let's go slaughter another Arabic. language. Why do they keep putting the first lady in this position where she's having to put foreign words and foreign languages in her mouth? It's obviously uncomfortable. Well, Raymond, I must have missed it when they invited Melania to come present an award. Well, right. Well, only Michelle Obama appeared at the Grammy. So well, I guess first of all, Melania would look go. gorgeous up there. I mean, well, Joe Biden looked pretty. I she thought she wasn't very invited. Pretty. As a programming note, we will be back with you tomorrow night. Coverage of the State of the Union. <laughs> but the president is hard at work prepping. He mm -hmm. tweeted out this picture. He's rehearsing. Note the milk and cookies, Laura. Where? I think that you'll see it in a second. It'll Where? come up. He tweeted. There it is. He, he, I, I think what they're telling him is, what? if you stop saying no joke, 
we're going to bring out the Oreos. God's honest that's truth, just... Raymond Arroyo. I'm working hard with my well. red pen. Wait, Mr. President, that's blue. Oh, it's, it's red. Oh, it is blue. <laughs> Um, all right, Raymond. So tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, midnight. Okay, midnight. Bring, bring so the, set those bring the coffee or the margaritas. Oh, whatever. Have fun. All right, Raymond. Thank okay. you. Great to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.